Once upon a time, there lived a king who, despite his luxurious lifestyle, was neither happy nor content. Now, one day he came upon his servant who was singing happily while he worked. The king was puzzled. He wondered, despite being a supreme ruler of this kingdom, why was he unhappy and gloomy while his poor servant was so joyous? The king asked the servant, Why are you so happy? The servant, in all his humility, replied, Your Majesty, I am nothing but a servant, but my family and I don't need too much, just a roof over our heads and warm food to fill our tummies. My wife and children are my inspiration. They are content with whatever I bring home. I am happy because my family is happy and we are healthy too. Now the king related his personal anguish about his feelings to his personal assistant, hoping that somehow he will be able to come up with some reasoning as to why the king, who could have anything he wished for at a snap of his fingers, was not contented, whereas his servant, having so little, was extremely contented. The personal assistant listened attentively and came to the conclusion. He said, Your Majesty, I believe that the servant has not been made part of the Club 99. The Club 99? And what is that? asked the king. The advisor replied, To truly know what the Club 99 is, just place 99 gold coins in a bag and leave it at the servant's doorstep. That same evening, the king arranged for 99 gold coins to be placed in the bag at the servant's doorstep. Initially, the king was slightly hesitant and he thought he should have put 100 gold coins into the bag. But since his assistant had advised him to put only 99, that is what he did. Now the servant was just stepping out of his house when he saw a bag at his doorstep. Wondering about its contents, he took it in his house and opened the bag. And when he opened the bag, he let out a big shout of joy. Gold coins, so many of them. He could hardly believe it. He called his wife to show her the coins. He then took the bag to a table and emptied it out and began to count the coins. Doing so, he realized that there were 99 coins and he thought it was an odd number. So he counted again and again and again only to come to the same conclusion, 99 gold coins. He began to wonder, what could have happened to that last one coin? For no one would leave 99 coins. He began to search his entire house, looked around his backyard for hours, not wanting to lose out on that one coin. Finally exhausted, he decided that he was going to have to work harder than ever before and make up for that one gold coin to make his entire collection and even 100 gold coins. From that day, the servant was a changed man. He was overworked, grumpy, stressed and stopped singing while he worked. He was completely focused on earning that one more coin. He went to work as usual, but not in his usual best mood, looking annoyed and irritable as he did his daily errands. Seeing the man's attitude change so drastically, the king was puzzled. He promptly summoned his assistant to his chamber. The king related his thoughts about the servant and once again, his assistant listened attentively. The king could not believe that the servant, now who until yesterday had been singing away and was happy and content with his life and had taken a sudden change of attitude, even though he should have been happier after receiving the gold coins. To this, the assistant replied, Your Majesty, the servant has now officially joined the Club 99. The assistant continued, The Club 99 is a name given to those people who have enough to be happy but are never content because they are always wanting that extra one, saying to themselves, let me get that one final thing and then I will be happy for life. We can be happy with very little in our lives, but the minute we are given something bigger and better, we want more and even more. We lose our sleep and our happiness as a price for our growing needs and desires. That's the Club 99. Zero membership fee to enter, but you pay for it your entire life. Striving for more is always good, but let's not strive so hard that we compromise our happiness for that little more. Friends, the root of all suffering is attachment. Author and life coach Jay Shetty speaks about a beautiful verse that I really love from the Bhagavad Gita that says, Detachment is not that you own nothing. Detachment is that nothing owns you. 
usually people see detachment as being away from everything actually the greatest detachment is being close to everything and not letting it consume and own you that's real power that's real strength society has ingrained in us to always want more we get a hit of dopamine once we get what we sought we feel elated but the boost is short lived the excitement fades away and we get back to our never ending quest for more as the dalai lama the spiritual leader says we need to learn to want what we have not to have what we want in order to get stable and steady happiness with this tendency of ours to want more and be dissatisfied with what we have we miss out on the joy of happiness his holiness the dalai lama also says there are two ways to reach contentment one is to acquire everything you want and desire like an expensive house a sporty car fashionable wardrobe gourmet foods perfect mate exotic trips and a perfectly toned body this list is endless the problem with this approach is that this type of wanting is a bottomless pit and never leads to contentment sooner or later there will be something you want but you can't have no matter how many hours you put in or how hard you work the second and the more reliable approach to contentment is to want and feel grateful for what you already possess when you have a strong sense of contentment it doesn't matter whether you obtain the object of your desire or not you are content either way most people confuse contentment with being complacent and not having any goals or ambitions in life that is far from truth contentment is just being satisfied and looking at what you are blessed with rather than what you don't have contentment is finding joy in what we already have in our lives feeling or showing satisfaction with our possession status or situation it's being happy without trying to find fulfillment in acquiring more material possessions the key to building contentment comes from thankfulness which comes from appreciation when you appreciate anything in life it increases in value to you and you become more thankful for it the secret to finding contentment in life is in this single word appreciation remember what you appreciate appreciates